I still remember the first time seeing the St. Louis Basilica and being absolutely astonished at its sheer presence. Although I've never really understood the need for churches to be ridiculously large or outlandishly beautiful, the St. Louis Basilica is definitely both. After almost 40 years of planning on how to spend the equivalent of nearly a hundred million dollars in today's terms, they finally broke ground in 1907. Although it remains unclear on whether or not the ground that was broken was actually holy land before then, I'm going to venture a guess that their location selection had more to do with reasons other than its holiness. As soon as you walk through the ridiculously tall and giant, but oddly easy to open doors, you are greeted with beautiful, mostly gold mosaics. And frankly, it's the mosaics that are the most special thing about this place. The primary construction was completed in less than a decade, but it wasn't officially finished until 1988 when the mosaics were completed. If you don't know what mosaics are, they are generally art that is made using a technique that uses tiny parts to create a whole image. The mosaics in this church are so impressive that there is a full museum on the lower level dedicated to the process they went through to complete them. This church collectively has 41.5 million tiny pieces placed over 83,000 square feet making images over nearly everything above a new level. Also housed in the museum, you will find one of the original four manual organ consoles that was used for 30 years up until 1946. Although the organ was already extremely impressive with 77 pipes, in 1997, the powers that be decided to restore everything and also up it to 96 total pipes. Whether you're a Catholic, a practicer of any other religion, or just someone that likes art, the St. Louis Basilica is undoubtedly a cool thing to go see. But keep in mind while you are there of what could have been done instead with the amount of time and money that was spent on completing it. Before